Comments would appear. What's up, y'all? Finally, y'all, look, it kind of slowed down the rain a little bit. Whoo, we figured to cut some good stuff right here in just a minute. What's up, people? This thing's Josh Killian. What's up? We figured to cook up some stir fry. I've been playing in the rain. Got my trolling motor hooked up. Got the battery charging. Melissa Dickerson, how you doing? We fixing the minute then to finally come outside to cook us a little something to eat here. And I'm gonna cook some stir fry pork and shrimp. It's gonna be good. I just know it. Ooh. Somebody said something about that. Brad Butler. What's up? Brandon Butler, I'm sorry. Have you ever thought about doing cooking videos on YouTube? Yeah, I guess I might do that. I mean, a lot of people want me to do that. I watch a lot of YouTube stuff, but I haven't uh, really, you know, with it that much let me get this pork start cooking y'all i'm gonna stick a little bit of pork on there oh yeah i, I got something to show y'all uh oh look at that look at here look at here look at here oh y'all see my putty knives and y'all see them well i want to i want to show y'all something Got the real deals here. Mike sent me these from Blackstone. Uh, Blackstone Company. He works there. He actually sent me these. So I'm going to be cooking with the real deals tonight. I'm uh, Oh, yeah. This hey, is, you got eggs? Yes, I got eggs. Go okay. get me some out of there. I mean, me. Uh, four eggs should four be good. Eggs, Look at this, y'all. I got me some new toys, y'all. I just love it. And they stay there. You set them there and they stay there. I like it. I like it. I like it. Oh, that's from Blackstone. All right, y'all. I'm happy with that. So I got to I gotta get my uh, putty knives back to my sheetrock, man. Okay, y'all. I'm fixing to throw a little. And you give it, uh, they got these little bottles in there, too. Got the, uh, I put olive oil in this one, water in the other one. We're going to, they got this little thing. I don't know what that's for, but I'm going to figure it out. This is two. Come back. Yep. Okay, y'all. You what? Miss Jen says it's, I'm happy she's happy. Oh, we're going to make a good roll. Somebody done made a mess over here. Yep. She did that mess. Miss Jen said, what her made a mess, y'all? Miss Janet's trying to make some yum yum sauce. What you call it, baby? Yum yum sauce? Yum yum sauce. Uh -huh. That's some stuff we got in uh, Williston. We was in uh, Williston, uh, North Dakota. Oh, she eats it everywhere else. I don't know. I don't know much about that hibachi stuff. But uh, anyway, look at here. It's going to Oh yeah, I can see the difference in these things already, y'all. I don't know how you got the right tool to make things a lot easier. Or well, you do something your whole life one way and somebody shows you a little trick. Okay, we got that cooking. What else we need next, please? Hmm. I like to, uh, uh a little bit of that. Like add a little more oil to it. You got a little bit of uh, soy sauce right here. Just a little bit right there. I'm going to put some more on my rice in a minute. You what, babe? Oh, that'd be good. Already, I can eat just this, which I have done it before. Just cleaning the hog and got a little bit left over, you know. I just put it in a little. Little thing in it. Smack down on it. Okay, where we at? Okay, y'all. I'm gonna throw this little bit of this oil right here. That's olive oil right there in my new dispenser for Blackstone. Ooh. 
Thank you, Mike. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Y'all watch this. This is from Ray. I mean, cook. Okay, I'm not scared to leave. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a little, little bit of olive oil on this rice. Let's get it and then let it breathe. Oh, boy. So we've been cutting back on this. I haven't been eating a lot of rice lately. So I've been kind of watching my, what do I eat? Oh, I like this thing, boy. You just told me to get some stuff with this. Just then I have to run in and try to get something else. So I'm going to add a little, a little bit of this. Just a little bit. That's soy sauce. Well, that's going to be strong. Mm -hmm. Now that rain's finally starting to slack a little bit right now, but I think it's coming back. We're coming back. The sun actually popped up for just a few minutes a while ago. Ooh, yeah. Now I don't know why, but I have never. Well, you got me some onions to put in here. Well, I like onions. Turn this around a little bit. Mm -hmm. Today we got some shrimp to put in them, y'all. This guy can be out inside just a minute, y'all. She's gonna read me some of your comments. Here it goes. Gee, what? Oh, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. That's the way you do it. What's up, Richard? Oh, Richard, we got her, uh, Jenny got her rings finally. Finally, she likes them. They're nice. Let's put a little of this on here. Okay, we got some. Got some little shrimp. About to run out of shrimp. Uh, just put a little oil right here. About to run out of shrimp. I don't got any shrimp left, but that's okay. Cause it ain't gonna be long and be shrimp season. This is the fastest thing you can cook. And the best, it tastes just so good. And the black stone here. I cut this pork, it was a pork tenderloin to head, and I cut them real thin. The shrimp in that ain't gonna take that much in there. Just a little bit of it. Oh, rain's coming down, man. I think I got that light on me. It's too bright, huh? Too much light. Right, Actually, y'all put the lights out here. I got, I got, got one in the room there. And I got a light right there. Uh, and they actually being run off the generator. Hmm. Mary Tucker, what's up? Oh my God. I'll be right over. <laughs> Time you get here, you ain't gonna find it. We're gonna be gone. Woo. Look at this. Let me throw a little more of this little pan on here. Put that one inside. Hey, uh, Kenny, give me the salt. Got no Kenny over there, seven bars. Uh, I don't Kenny give me that. I have a little bit of this. Thing. But I do want a little, a little stuff. This is a uh, real treat. Okay, so see. That ranch coming again, y'all. And y'all know that big tree fell on my house the other day. But when it hit, over here, it knocked the electricity off of my, the room out here. So we don't have no electricity. So we don't have, we have electricity for that. I actually hooked up the generator. I got a little harm in the generator. Oh, 
Scratch that. It ain't letting up move. Welcome to Lake Mitchell. It's gonna be loud out here. It's gonna be loud. She said, Grandma said it's loud. Tommy Nixon, what's up? Put out 
Y'all, I'm gonna go research this blue thing after a while. I gotta get rid of it. That blue thing on this thing driving me crazy. Oh. You better research how to get us to the mic from you. Uh, that is your okay. meat stuff. Not meat stuff, but the catchers. Yeah. Sorry about that, y'all. Huh. Yeah. Hey, we, uh, well, we've been stuck in the house. Well, I have all day in that house. And uh, where y'all at? Where y'all no way up there? <laughs> I don't know if y'all can see me, but the lights are pretty bad in here right now. Touch the screen. There you go. Miss Janice said that's a little bit better, y'all. I can't see it. Is that all mine? Yeah, all my undo it. What's up? Now hit it over. Yeah. Hit it on top of you, not there. Hit it on the screen. Let's see if Miss Jim knows what she's talking about, y'all. I hit the blue thing. Let's see if it's gone for a while. I hope she does. I need something like that. Ooh. How's it taste, Mom? Huh? Pork little chocolate? I don't know where that pork come from. That was in the freezer outside. That's why I cut it down with him. You don't want to open the door? Hmm? You don't want to open the door? No. Because I have to open one of your cats. I want my cat. <laughs> Who said I brought him here? No. Who ain't got it fixed? I think they're going to stay here. They're for good, huh? Taste my stuff. Hmm? Hmm. That ain't what I got online, that's just mine. I ain't had time to make it. Hmm. What's that, what else did it talk for? Uh, cayenne, not mayo. Hmm. Just some tomato paste. Yeah, mayo, tomato paste, water, huh. cayenne, Yo, this is good, a couple y'all. other things. Yo, this is good, y'all. I just made my ketchup. Yeah, I usually make it. I didn't have time to do double. Yo, it's been raining. I'm not kidding. It just, it just don't stop, y'all. Linda Myers. Paracone, how you doing? Hey, Miss Linda. Hey, Miss Linda. Miss Linda said it looks like some good eating.
Well, I seen somebody said something it? about Kenyon's place flooded. I hope not. No, I've seen a thing, a video. They said it. They picked everything up. Just make sure. Mm. Kenyon earlier video said. Mm-hmm. They about to get flooded. Oh, I hope it don't. Who said that? Oh, Richard said that. What's up, Richard? Oh, oh. got our package. Oh yeah, Miss Dan got her package with her rings and and her uh, earrings and my key chain. I might have put it on my keys, I guess. Do, it's inside. We're gonna do a video with it. Yeah. It's all framed. Oh. You know what I mean? Richard sent me a, um, a keychain thing, but it's made it out of coins and stuff. But a lot of people send me stuff, and I'm scared to use it because I don't want to lose it. Oh, uh, that's the main reason. I, I don't use stuff. I never get rid of it. Yeah, even as then, I keep stuff forever, forever and ever in two days. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I don't ever done that in a way. But, um, hmm. Good with the shrimp. Mm hmm. I should have soft that. He got me a little longer, huh? Yep. Let's see what chicken in it, too. That's the way it is at the Chinese places. It's got chicken stir fry. Oh, is it? Chicken what? and shrimp. Mm-hmm. Well, you know me, Mama, I'm just cooking what we got in the refrigerator. In the freezer. I still Yeah, like the pieces are a little big for me. What? Yeah. yeah. And you need to cut more? Mm-hmm, look. Mr. Andrew don't like a lot of meat, but I do. I'm going to meet you. But... If I, cut I like it, but I like I like side dishes too. I like other stuff too. Mm -hmm. Y'all got my boat hooked up. Hopefully, let it rain some in tomorrow. Huh? Mm -hmm. mm. It's gonna rain all day tomorrow too, though. Y'all. It's gonna stop for it, I think. Mm. More today, the more to be the worst thing. Start getting better after that. We got your friends coming over, maybe. We might have to cancel. I don't know. I don't want to. You get the lights in here straightened up. Hmm? You gotta get lights fixed in here straightened up. Yeah, I gotta get the lights hooked up. You can't have somebody wait. Look. I do got a little messy, y'all. Mm. I try to keep this place nice and straight, but Miss Janet just, I think she sneaks in here at night. And uh, she messes it up. Mm -hmm. Now, actually, I still got look all my bee stuff scattered out in here. It's just uh, and uh, you know I got a refrigerator and a freezer in here. And we haven't had electricity in here since Saturday. But I run a car from the house, a stitching car, and keep my freezer and my refrigerator going. And get over this rain. Rain, rain, rain. Y'all see that gator in my driveway? <laughs> oh, wait, well, something around here. Mm mm. What you doing, bro? Get on the house. Get on the paper. I'm sorry, I can't quit eating. <laughs> I'm hungry. I have to wipe out a print. Huh? I have to wipe out a print. Ah, Miss Janet's printing, y'all. What's that, Jean? Jean Due? The sun is shining now. Not over here, Jean. It popped out for just a minute a little while ago, but it it wasn't long. Richard says, is that A-W a a root beer? Yes, it is, Richard. And I got a, uh, what do I have here? I don't know what Mine this is. sparkling soda water. Just soda water, carbonated water. I don't really drink a lot of these cold drinks and stuff. I mainly drink Miss Jen to make me tea or something like that. But every once in a while I drink something different. 
Mm-hmm. Hopefully tomorrow, if the girls ain't got me nothing to do. Me and Lolly probably go fishing. It's rain, baby. Huh? Rain. I got a plan, babe. Well. Me and Lolly's gonna go down there and go under the bridge. And we're gonna go catch the perch and cut the perch up and use them for bait. Then we're gonna take the bait and bait our jug lines and throw them out and we're gonna catch catfish in between the rains. That's what me and Lolly's gonna do tomorrow. Maybe. Make sure you make it. Well, wait till the boss gets here. You. We need to take a little man with you. That's probably we'll As soon as he gets big enough to get in the boot. I sure could get some work done out in the kids. <laughs> <laughs> that boy gets here, y'all. They ain't nothing. You can you can't take your eyes off of him. The boy, he can't. He don't sit none at all. I don't know where he gets up from. <laughs> mm -hmm. Wait a minute, a little bit more. Just a little bit. Let's just go and get her some more. Max Smith, what's up? Said don't send no rain that way. <laughs> Y'all got enough of it, Max? <laughs> I tell you what, I have. I'm just, I just uh. Mm -hmm. Caught me at a bad time, and I, I. No. I'm just uh I'm just stove up, I'm ready to do something. We need to go clean the kitchen. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm ready to do something else. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Gotta do that too though. Mm -hmm. Kevin Tree trees? What's going on with the hog traps? Well, me and Kenyon went yesterday. Me and Kenyon and Paul went to go set them traps yesterday. And uh, it's over there next to the river. And we were scared there'd be 20 foot of water there today. We didn't want to set the trap, maybe catch a hog, and that water come up with all this rain and drown them. Or, or wash our traps down the river, you know. So we're just going to wait a couple of days. I know it seems like forever to me, but it, it's going to quit raining one day. Hopefully. Dwayne said that's still the art bridge. That sounds like a good idea. I need to build me a camp down the river. I got to start getting some wood, huh? No money. No money. This chat mm -hmm. says money. Need money. What are we eating? We eating stir fry, pork and shrimp. And right. They said they missing right lolly. Me too. I haven't seen her today. Seen a little bit yesterday, huh? Jeff Griff said he just checked on. Um, she said Kenny, Kenny, but it's Kenny and Big Mama T. Water's up to the door of the camp. Oh crap! They took the carpet up and got all the furniture. With saw horses. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Boy, they're just reading. I mean, we was, me and Janet was down there when I ate with them a couple weeks ago. Mm. They've done so much work to that camp. Tell them what this is. Ask them what you're putting on your Huh? Ask them what you're putting on your stuff. Oh, that's from Real Tree. Real Tree seasoning. Cajun seasoning. That's good. Minutes. Uh, the Kenyan, me and Janet was over there, we tried some fishing stuff a while back, and uh, we was looking at the camp, and they'd been, they'd been remodeling and doing all kinds of stuff, and we're just about to get it finished up, and bam. I think they got finished. Huh? I think they finished it, didn't they? Oh, he got it? Yeah, he got it. Well, no, I was over there yesterday. Got a few more things? Uh, at Kenyan's shop, he had to uh, shower, he fixed them, put the shower in. Mm. I think that's what they're going to do today, probably. And, and uh, look like the water got them again. No, it ain't got them yet. I it's hope it don't get them. He need, if it does, he needs to go ahead and jack it. Because 
cost so much to jack them up, though. We was talking yesterday, and Penny said going, he wants a camper. <laughs> and Miss Tiny don't want none. Yeah, it's about 10 inches from going in. Oh, 10 inches? Oh, and I that's think we, that's what it's talking about. Oh, we'll be all right after 10 inches. 10 inches is a lot of water. I'm going to be a me one that floats. Or mine so said fish don't care if it's, if it's raining or not. Mm -hmm. No problem, dude. Probably the water's gonna be messed up. I was glad to that arm out a while back. Mm -hmm. You know, I was calling him Amanda. I know. I was sitting there. But we got that straight. Yeah, I don't do that no more, do I? Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. No, that was pretty good. Gladys. What's up? Looks good, Big Bruce. Rain's got to stop. We're getting fat. Yep. Getting, man. Look at me. That's muscle there. That's what, Raymond, that's from paddling that kayak up and down the river. Me and you ought to race one day. Let's go down there and see who, good for, who can paddle the feathers. Mm-mm. you're going to grow wet feet if the rain don't stop. Yeah, ain't no doubt. I'm sick of it. I actually, looks like the sun's popping out a little bit, y'all. Let me see if I can read a couple of these comments over here. Miss Dennis read them to me. I can just give me another plate. <laughs> that'd, be, that'd be better, huh? Thomas B. Alabama. What's up, Alabama? Let me go get me another plate. Richard said, finally stopped raining here. It's been raining for three days. Yeah, it looks like it stopped here. I'm about ready for some crab. Ron right? wants to know what size is your black stone. It's a 36 inch. I got a 36 inch and I got the uh I got the small one over there, but it's got a burner on it. Or you can put the barbecue pit thing on it. And uh, that it's more of a portable one than the other one I got. But the, the big one I just cooked all this on is a 36 inch black stone. 36 inch and it uh I guarantee you. If I fire that bugger up and got my stuff going, I, I could feed 20 people in just a short time. I don't know how long we've been on here, but uh, <clears throat> it didn't take me that long to cook it. Rodney said you eat too much. Yep. But it's cool. Corey wants to know, did you hurt your knee or your leg? Yeah, it's been giving me troubles. I keep falling down on it. Falling out this boat. But it's alright. It's feeling better. I've been losing weight. Richard cooks have been on 33 minutes. Oh, that ain't bad. Yeah, I started at, yeah, that ain't bad. We started at 5, 5.30? Yeah, 5.30. We started cooking at 5.30, y'all. I didn't have really nothing ready. You had your meat cut. Up. I had the pork cut up. I had the pork cut up. Uh, and uh, had the pork cut up, and that's about it. And we started cooking. So in less than 30 minutes, we, we was eating. It, it's only been 30 minutes, 35 minutes now. So that's pretty good. You weren't, well... I was going to say, tell them about our little show every weekend, but we're going to do that again. Oh. Paulette said, prayers for us. We look, you look good, Bruce. Keep rowing, she said. Mm-hmm.
the next women in East Bama. <laughs> well, we got swimming down here. We got to swim and get back to our house just about. Y'all, I might try to get Miss Jen to go down there in the canoe in a minute. What do y'all think about that? Crazy. Boy, I'm getting some funny looks right now. I must have found your pounds, Gene said. Mm -hmm. that he, you lost. Mm -hmm. I haven't got to paddle in two days, but. Sherry wants to know how your father's day was. Good, good. Good and bad. <laughs> uh, you know, Father's Day was good. I'm thinking about the, what is it, the day before Father's Day, my Saturday. daughter. Huh? Saturday. When we got that honey. Saturday. That's when we got the honey, Saturday? Mm -hmm. No, Friday. Mm. Friday, because me and Jennifer were talking Saturday. Yeah, that's right. Anyway, my daughter tells me she's moving Saturday. Or when we got Friday. the honey, Friday. My youngest daughter come over, and the one that we got honey with, and she said she was moving. And she's moving to Florida, to around Fort Walton. And I guess we're going to be going to Florida. <laughs> but uh, she's got a, a real good job over there, and she wants to go over there and work a couple of years, save some money. And we got property on the other side of town that, that I grew up on. And I give it to the girls. <coughs> and they're, uh, she's going to Florida. She got a good job. And she's make, making about three times what she's making here. So she wants to go over there. Save money. Save money and come back and build her a little house. So. You can't knock her for trying to do better. You don't want to leave. But. You know, that's part of raising kids, you know, to have them ready to leave. Nathan Gunn said he lives in Fort Walton. Come on, he said. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I guarantee you, we're going to go on that way. Richard said, good for her. I hate to see her leave, but, you know, you always want your kids to do better than you, at least I do. And she, that's what she went to school for, you know, she got a master's and all that. So, more power to her. She don't like her leaving, leaving home though. But, they got that land over there, so they'll always be tied to that land. Huh. Mm -hmm. They say, tell her congrats and all that. Y'all guess we're gonna let y'all go. What's up, Brenda Moore Hill? Hill, Brenda Hill. Moore Hill. Where do you get Moore Hill? I don't know. I'm reading all kind of crazy <laughs> things. <laughs> Time going. What's up? You said the sun's out. Mm -hmm. It's kind of popping here a little bit. Uh, Richard said he can't see me. Hunter Kugler. Who's that? I don't know. Move finger. Just didn't tell me how I did it once and it worked and then it worked again. But see now I can't read the messages. What do you mean? It's gone when the messages. <coughs> and when you touch it, what that's coming up is the one that they do it right this second. No. The ones that's coming up. This thing drives me crazy, y'all. <laughs> it's that blue line, y'all. I, hmm? I see some sad faces. Let me see what that's about. Jen says she sees some sad faces. Lynn on Hamilton, why are you sad facing? <laughs> why are you sad, Liz? Lynn. Lynn. There's another one. Let's see. Not because I skipped your name, I hope. <laughs> my crime. This blue thing tried to drive me banana cookies. Ron Cutting Jr. What's up, Ron? Crying. <laughs> what kind of phone do you have? Samsung. Sam Galaxy S7. Some Galaxy something. S7. 
Uh, S7. I don't know nothing about these phones, y'all. Gene Doohy. This has got a sad face. Who? Doohy. Doohy? Yeah. Gene Haydale Doohy. Mm. She's from La Paz. David, David said, so what spice you got on the table? David, that's a real tree. Real tree. Cajun seasoning. It's good. Kim says she sees angry faces and she don't like it. Kim, what's the angry faces for? Do you know? Because I sure don't know. You might want to stump the toe or something. No, they're probably hungry. Mm-hmm. Well, y'all, they got a little bit left. Well, we're going to put that in something. I'm mad at one of them grandbabies will tear it up tomorrow. Christopher eat it. Mm-hmm. That boy loves to eat. All our babies love to eat, though. My daughter gets so mad at them. Them kids can leave. They'll leave their house. And stop in town and eat breakfast. And uh Raymond Gladys got a, a sad face. So Raymond Glad, what's your what's your problem, Raymond? <laughs> Raymond didn't mess with me. I think they hungry. No. It's their problem. But my daughter can come over here and them kids that just get through eating. They oh, just leave Raymond right. says he's sad because he don't have a bowl of this. <laughs> yeah, you come lick this plate, Raymond. But uh, my daughter come over here, bring them kids, and they just get through eating. I'm telling you, just left McDonald's or somewhere like that or their house and ate. Soon as they get here, they got to eat again. Every time, I'm back. Yep. <coughs> I don't know what it is, going to Grandma and Grandpa's house. They got to eat. Well, Richard, my man said he misses Lolly. I do too. She'll be here tomorrow. She'll be here tomorrow. Me and Lolly going fishing, hopefully. Richard, said, Richard uh, Scarborough said that he'd been cooking our... Debbie said the angry faces with. can be blocked. Man, man. Nah, I don't like to block people. Most of them are angry because they're not facing yeah. it. Yeah. Y'all yeah, look like the sun's coming out a little bit. And, oh, yeah. I'm charging my batteries on the... Uh, in my go devil. And hopefully tomorrow... If everything works out, me and me and Lolly's going fishing, or I'm going fishing. Richard said, "Oh, I cooked the cop cake mix cobbler in the Dutch oven." He said, "Oh my God, it it's is good, ain't it? <laughs> it is good." <laughs> oh y'all, guess what I got coming? Well, no, we're gonna wait. I'm gonna surprise y'all with this one. I'm gonna surprise y'all. Dylan said, "Where's your rompers, Bruce?" I got them on. Where's How y'all like this? I finally come back in style, y'all. <laughs> I see some of that roper stuff on on on, on uh what you call it uh, uh, Facebook. I've been been looking at that. Hey, I've been wearing them like this for thirty years. <laughs> mm -mm. Yeah, Richard. Uh, I I got a friend coming over. A uh, friend, a cousin, actually. Who? Philip. And, distant uh, cousin. Uh, distant cousin. Uh, anyway, I guess I'll claim him. But uh, I was going to cook him a cobbler. You're hoping anyway. Oh, we're supposed to call Daryl. I forgot to tell you that. What? <laughs> Daryl. I got to call him. I told him when we was going camping or something, he might be coming this way. Matt Fletcher said, where can you buy a cookbook? Where can you buy a cookbook? Matt, look over here in the top corner. Your Facebook, right there. You got a shop now button. Hit that button, or you can go to my webpage, and you can get a cookbook. Kim said he wish he had smell a vision, Bruce. Yep, yeah, smell a vision be nice. Electricity be nice out here. It knocked my wire down, y'all, and I, I got to go up in the attic, uh, go through the whole house, and. Run the wire out the other wall and it's a pain in the butt. But Richard said peach cobbler with vanilla cake mix tastes like ice creams in it. Really? I bet, I bet, 
peach cobbler. We need to try that. What y'all call? Try, I want to try a chocolate cake with cherry topping. Yeah, yeah, it wants a, you know what a, a what? Chocolate cake mix. With chocolate cherry, cake mix with with cherry filling. It's a make devil's food cake. Richard's putting the website on there. Thank you, Richard. Sean <laughs> Bird Edel said her grandkids eat her at the house and home too. I don't know what it is, but I, you know, I used to go to my grandma's. I used to go to both of my grandma's every day, every day. And I did. I ate something from each one of them every day. And I can remember for years, I thought it was just me. But my grandma, Eber, would be walking down the road and going to the to the creek or something like that. And my grandma, Eber, had to holler at me, hey, come here. So I'd walk over there and see what she had. She said, you want a little bowl of ice cream? I said, yeah. You know, so I'd go in there. My grandma fixed me a bowl of ice cream. You know, and I always thought it was just me. I was the only one getting ice cream, but <coughs> <coughs> later on, <coughs> later on, you know, after she's, she's gone, I, we, we all kind of talking and get to figuring out. Everybody went by there every day and got them a little cup of ice cream. Yeah. That was a good old days, though. Yep. Oh, Lisa wants to know what happened to your eye. I got something in it. Uh... Well, yes, a couple of days ago, cutting up to that big limb over here that fell on my house, and uh, I had the chainsaw out, and uh, I got got something in my eye. It's been bugging me ever since, and I think I about got it out, and it pops up. I eventually go inside and take me a shower, let that water run in my eye. I really want to go frogging, but I know there ain't no frogs. The 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 grass is too high. Grass is too high and the water's too high. I'm trying to. Okay, swipe to remove comments. I did that. No. Yeah, but you want to read the comments. Huh? Yeah. I try to read them all. Well, I read them all later, but. Yeah, because if you swipe it, then all that disappears. Yeah, can't I know. Be done. Hey, that? That's. Hey. That's Cleta, Clark. I think. Cleta Clark. How you doing, Cleta? I think it's Cleta. She's always had some for. Her. What? Yeah. You know she was talking about? about her grandparents. How she did the same thing. Her well, dad, oh, her dad, and mom had eight kids, and he lived to be eighty-four and cooked like great kids. Yeah. <clears throat> you a Clark from around this area? We got a lot of Clarks around here. We kidding a lot of them. Jason Pearson, what's up? About to go to out to Little Bend yeah, Lake. Do some fishing. We don't want to hear about it. <laughs> I want to go. I don't want to hear about it. Oh, Clear the Clark's home. Lowry City, Missouri. Oh, ah, that's way over yonder. Way, way over yonder. Teresa Bright. What's she say? She said she wants to know how far the water is to have a gator on the road. Oh, there's a gator there. That's that's not got nothing to do with the <laughs> that's the that's off the form. That's off. That's one of our form gators, and they don't fix the fences no more. So we got gators <clears> roaming <throat> all over through here. I will put a video on in a little while. That's pretty common with us. Only thing I worry about we got a lot of kids up and down this road, and the kids walk right by that gator. That gator can grab them, but it's out of my hands. Uh, I, the big holes in the fence they don't fix nothing. They don't do no upkeep. They said they're not going to do no upkeep on the farm. And once they have it, they let everything die down. But that's a sore subject. Sore subject. I'm just worried about one of my kids is going to get it, get bit. What's up, Bubba Smith? Bubba Smith from Mississippi. Mississippi in the house. Hello from Florida, Michigan. Jason Pearson. Indiana. Come up to what? To little men fishing. It's good right now. That's what I heard. I heard it was good. We got a nephew lives up there, but he ain't been up there in a while. We used to go there fish a lot when I was a kid, but I don't know. <laughs> we used to have to, several of us uh, went with my dad, and they would go camping, and they'd bring trucks and trailers and this and not to haul boats. It's so far, you know. How far is it been from here? 
That's Kelly's, right? That's probably four and a half, five hours. Probably. About four hours, five hours from here. You know, if you and then if you go up there, you're gonna have to have a boat uh, and your camper. But it, it's just hard to pull all that, and I don't pull enough one trailer out of town. <clears throat> Trying to get Miss Janet to get a, a hitch on her, hers, her little car. But then again, when we go long distances, I don't, I want her ride with me. I want somebody to slap her around if I got to. Y'all believe that, huh? <laughs> yeah. I ain't gonna say nothing. She ain't gonna say nothing, she said. Yeah. You ever come to Upstate, where? That's Tim Manley. Come to upstate of South Carolina. Yeah, we've been all over South Carolina, North Carolina. Uh, always stopped at the south of the border, see Pedro. Yeah, we've been all over, North and South Carolina. I used to buy a lot of turtles out of uh, Wilmington area, Selma, uh, Wilson. Sarah Craig said, can you kill them out of season if they're on your property? No, not really, uh, you're not supposed to. What's called wildlife fishery? If you got a gator on your property, comes up, uh, you're not supposed to kill it. You're supposed to call it wildlife fishery. Chris, Chris said, "Quit rubbing your eyes. It's scratched and irritated." Yeah, it's, it's messed up. <laughs> Thank you, Chris, for telling that for two days. I'm a hard hit. <laughs> yeah. Jason Pearson said, "Jump in the truck. Come on up." I bet the, I've been looking at my crappie jig a while ago. Used to, I used to go to a little bit when I was a kid. I haven't been fishing out there since I was a kid. And uh, Gene said, "Jane's gonna whoop you." They had these machines up there. Y'all catch it? We catch these big old perch. I mean, huge perch in Sockley. And they had these things like a washing machine. You put your fish in them. And you put a quarter in it, and it spins and knocks all the scales off of it. I thought that was the neatest thing I ever seen. Put some drops in your eye. Yeah, I'm fixing to go do that. Yeah, I'm fixing to go inside. Use a cold compress. I'm gonna use a hot compress. Uh, no, nah, cold compress on my okay. eye. Uh, During gator season, can you kill them when they come up to your house and tag them? No, no, not legally. That's a farm gator. I wouldn't want to shoot that anyway. Uh, she laid her eggs in there, but uh. No, we don't do that. You can't. You you got tags for your land and your land only, and that's you know like this plate's your land. That's the only place you can hunt right there on your plate. You can't go right off the plate. You got to hunt on your plate. You know it's it's real strict, and which is good because you know you don't want people going. You don't want to go on other people's land. But these gator here, this is farm gators. They're they're uh they're actually worse than the uh. Than a, uh, than a wild gator, because these gators are used to people. They're not scared of people. Uh, they know people's where they get their food, so they're, they're you got to really watch these gators. These uh, tame gators, farm gators, they will get you, because you, you you know they just sneak up on you and get you. Well, oh, that's a generator. I keep hearing something outside, y'all, but I, I forgot. Something else I'm hearing. Banging. Huh? Banging. It's down here to banging, but I hear a roaring noise. Jody Harris, what's up? Jer Jody Harris Tooth. She says hi, Ruth. Uh, Richard said, "Is the farm that close, or do you wonder? Do they wonder for?" No, we own the farm. Uh, no, it's connected to our property. That's the, the farm's know. connected to our property, and uh, they just don't do no upkeep on it. The fences are falling down and stuff. Uh, Earl wants to know how much land do we have do we own? Too much or not enough? <laughs> I can't go on. We just got uh, up front. I don't know how many acres we got. I think but, about ten. But we can't go. We don't go on it uh, because of the situation we're in right now. Papa Guthrie, what's up? Papa Guthrie, how you doing? <laughs> James wants to know how do you acquire swamp land? Uh, you're going swamp back. I forgot <laughs> who got it. I see Judy up there. Judy who? Judy Parker. Where? Hey, yeah. Bruce, send us some gator and crawfish. Where y'all at, Judy? I know y'all moved. I forgot what you told me. You was moving to. Well, 
Wyoming or somewhere like that. I don't know what's wrong. What's Jim doing? Oh, Jimmy Parker. Sarah Craig, how you doing? She's Sarah Craig. What'd she say now? We know the, what really happened. I understand. I understand. He smacked him back. Oh yeah, she does all the time. Yeah, he gets you know. cocky, so now we gotta calm him down. She cracks me in my eye once in a while. I'm used to that. Now. That don't bother me at all. Jean <laughs> said, "Make sure Lolly catches the biggest fish tomorrow." Lolly always catches the biggest fish. That girl can fish. She's all she. And when she was little, I'm talking about when she was little, and she's only five now. Her daddy, she'd show her daddy up every time. Still does. They go fishing. I say, how many you caught? How many y'all caught? And uh, they say six. I said, well, how many you caught? She said, I caught four of the biggest ones. But she <laughs> always catches the big ones. Doug Blair, what's up? Doug from Ohio. Woo. Wow. You might have to Chelsea Nako Noko. You would have to go to the emergency room. Nah. Oh, I don't want no glass in my eye. I know what I got in it. I think I just got a piece of, piece of uh, shavings from that tree. Oh. Richard said on the show, how many boats people are around you filming you while you catch game? Usually when we're filming, we got uh, one boat, what we call a follow boat, that comes out with us every day. And the camera guy rides on the follow boat. And that, that's... Uh, it's a pretty simple deal. And me and Ron's up in in my boat. And we cutting up and doing our deal. We don't even notice they're there. We don't even talk to them half the time. Uh, uh, me and Ron gets cutting up and talking and uh, laughing and playing and doing our deal. And we don't even half the time we don't even realize the camera guys are there. You Sarah know? Craig said, "Is Lolly moving to Florida?" No, Lolly's not moving to Florida. Not for a while, for sure. <laughs> but she's a wild one too. She's lovely. You never know. Your baby don't have no kids. Yeah, uh, Janice don't have no kids. Uh, and she used to tell her sister when she was little, when she, you know, growing up, she's gonna get out of here. She was leaving Louisiana. But we when she went to, it. when she, we never knew it until a couple of years ago. She went to Indiana though. She had enough of that. She ready to come home. That's a uh, southern, you know, down in Florida. She might, she might like it there a little bit. I don't know. It ain't but like four hours from here, so. It's better than fourteen. It's better than fourteen, Miss Janet says. She used to be fourteen hours a day. That was the longest ride. Somebody said something about kissing me, Florida. Cander, Casserder, Mask. Hi, Bruce. We have a lot. Alligators and kiss me. Yeah, me and Janet uh, went through there a couple of times. Danny Cantor, what's up? Ron said, come up to Maine and do some bear hunting with him. Do what? Who said it? Oh, Ron. What's up, Ron? Tell him, get us a show to pay for a few and we'll <laughs> yeah, be yeah. there. Janet said, get us a show to pay for our few and we'll be there. <laughs> you know who that Ron is, huh? That's He's, the one. That's right. Ron the one was. That killed the bear in, in Canada. Yeah. Yeah. When we was in Canada, New Brunswick. Up there with um, Sylvie and Dave at Tobec, Tobec yeah. Outfitters. Tobec, yeah. Tobec Outfitters in Canada, in New Brunswick. We were in Raleigh Brook, and it's a beautiful little town. And that's where we met Ron at. And Ron, I'm not even going to try to say your last name. This is this. The one says, you need to get one of them pulley systems Miss Liz used on her boat, especially when you go out alone. Less work to pull the big ones onto your boat. Y'all, I'm the first one that had the pulley system. <laughs> I, I'm the one that started with that. <laughs> with the winches and stuff like that. And I told Liz, I told Justin and Liz how to make one. And uh, they went and got one made. But I was the first one to, to, to use the winch. Tell them look at season one I had to see. Look, season Yeah, two. look on season one. And two. And two. And uh, Will you be doing live feeds during gator season? Mm, probably, well, yeah, but not doing while we're catching gators. I can't do that. I'll talk to the producers about it. And uh, I doubt they let you, but uh, see, we're not even supposed to be seen with gators, you know, as far as I read my contract. So, no, I can't, I can't legally film 
I don't say legally, but we'll I, probably do it while we eat, while you y'all eating and stuff. Huh? Or either at the restaurant. Yeah, we'll 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 do some live with me and Ron or something like that at the restaurant or at my house here or something. If we're not filming, you know, if we're not filming, and we don't we don't we can't talk about the show. So, uh, but uh, no, I don't think I talked to some of my producers and stuff. And they're, they're pretty good guys. And they ain't gonna let you watch you. They probably won't let us though. They won't even let you talk about it. We're supposed to film it. We might catch a little one one day and ask him if we could film that live. Teresa said, Do y'all hang out with each other away from the show? Ron? Mm -hmm. We try to hang out with Ron. We're going next week, matter of fact. But we're going next week to see Ron. And uh, it's just hard. Ron lives, what, a hundred and something miles from us. And Ron is busy, busy, busy. Ron works a full time job and a half on a chef department there and his wife works full time and uh, all their kids are into everything, sports, uh, just everything, the, the uh, what you call it, track team, uh, they own track, everything. That blue thing used to drive me crazy. Now if I hit this phone with a hammer, you know what it did? This blue thing made me go berserk. You, are, you ain't got the Mr. Jensen ain't got far to go. I keep hitting this thing, cannot get it off. Get it off, baby, please. Y'all, yeah. this blue thing pops up on there and I cannot read the right. There. Mr. Jensen ain't got it off. Ray says, what blue thing? <laughs> Lorraine? Mm -hmm. No, Ray. Oh, Ray. They got a blue thing when you do lives, uh, it pops up. And when it pops up, you cannot. Ron says you need to get the iPhone. Well, what is this? This ain't the iPhone? No, it's the Android. Oh, that's the Android. No, y'all, it took me a long Wait. time to figure this one out. The, the, the Androids are better for I the business on oh, emails and all that stuff. They got, they got to be somebody out here that knows. Bruce Journey, what's up? Bruce said, how y'all doing? We doing good, man. It's good until you touch the screen. Once you touch the screen, that blue pops up. No, it, it'll run a minute by itself and pop up. Watch. It's not on here now. Dale said thing. when it pops up there, is it loud clicking? No, you don't hear mm -hmm. nothing. Is it it's just when he friendly? touches it, the blue is telling him what he's missing underneath. What, what's yeah. coming? What's the next uh, feed? Hey, Jeff Morgan. What's up, Jeff Morgan? How many gallons of honey have you collected so oh. far this year? And is it your first year of bees yeah. or second? It's our first year. I probably got 30 gallons, 25 to 30 gallons so far. We've had them, what, a year and a half? Yeah. A year and a half, and this is the first time getting honey. Now, last year I got that hive in you know, from a friend of mine up the road here. And that's some strain of Russian bees, I think it is. And I set that hive up back here, and I got it going. And I could have pulled honey off the first year, but I didn't. I let it sit. I wanted these bees to have plenty to eat and be strong through the winter. Dale said he hears a click, click, clang noise on that end oh, when you're touching it. Oh, when I touch it, yeah. yeah. You're going to hear more of that when I hit it with a hammer. Hey, Laura. Laura's watching us. Hey, Laura. But but I let my bees sit for the first year, and I didn't fool with them. I just let them build up, build up, build up until they got real strong. And then this spring, my buddy come over, Mike, from uh, Barry's Best Honey, and uh, y'all look on his page. If y'all need to know anything about bees or honey, he, he can tell you about it. But Barry's best honey. But uh, anyway, need he come over, him and his buddy, and we split the hive. Okay, we made two hives out of it. And as soon as we made two hives, the bees went to work. And they put... Teresa they, Bryant said... They put the honey on. It's because you're behind on your chat. The blue box will pop up. Okay, well, how, it how, gets a chat current. Yeah. For you to see it. See mine, I touch my screen, so mine too. How you get it off? I want the blue box gone. I cannot read them, y'all. It, 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 it pops up. When the blue box pops over the thing, I cannot read the, the feeds. Emily Gray, Ernie Gray, what's up? He said, hey, Bruce, got a boot? I got a bunch of boots, Ernie. Lance. Judy Whoa. said, Judy Parker says she's serious about sending them some gator meat. We don't have gator meat, Judy. Tori Daniel, Lance wants right. bees because of you. Get him some. 
and they get you some honey. Then they can sell a little bit on the sides. Eat the rest. Bruce Henderson. Our weather is okay Let's right now. Let's go hunting. The what? The weather's okay right yeah, now. Yeah, it's uh the rain kind of quit. Bruce needs to what? I missed that. One. Yeah, I gotta go do something with my eye. Wash it out or something. Janet got to hit me with the pressure washer. Chelsea said, I love it when Miss Janet comes on live. Leave your eye alone. Going to get infected. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Ron says, scroll down to the last comment and the blue box will go away. Yeah, but it popped right. Okay, okay, I'm, I'm did that. Okay. But when you touch it again, it's going to do it again. You don't have to touch it. I'm not touching it. Watch. What's up, Jeff Morgan? There it is, right there. Mm -hmm. I see it. Yes. I wonder if I go the other way. Uh, they say it may be called place. I can call Verizon. Maybe they can help me. No, they can't. Well, it's Facebook. I think I got new, not new phone call. Pat said it. SBO camp flooding. Yeah. It's Janet. Oh, you heard what? Pat Goodwin said that the Southern Boys Outdoors camps flooding. Oh crap! I hate Jeff to hear Martin that. Smoke, so. Jeff Martin said he's got his second year. His two. He's got two old hives, two year old hives. Uh -huh. A new one. I might get lucky if I get a couple supers full. Just letting you a new one build. It's a fun hobby. Yeah, I, I, what I'm going to do with these bees, I'm going to bring them in the swamp down there. You know, I just want, uh, we ain't far from the swamp already. These bees are going to the swamp. I just want, I just want to put them down there because I think it's a little warmer uh, year round down there. And they, there's always something blooming. Always something blooming. So hopefully I can bring them down there and make some good swamp. Sarah honey. said, when it shows up, you need to scroll to the current com comments. It comes up when you're looking at the back comments. When you go back yeah. to read something that passes, that's when it comes up. Yeah, but I'm not touching it now. What's up, Mark Scrooge? Mm -hmm. Hi, Miss to Bruce and Miss Janet. What's up? Now, Mark, we've just been eating and, uh, Cooking a little bit of stuff on my back stone grill. But, uh. Kevin says a 10 year old boy got killed in Alabama at Gulf. I wonder what happened. Drowned or something? Don't say yet. Bruce, you ever been to Bayou La Battery? Yep. yep. In Alabama, I've been to Bayou La Battery. Uh, actually, uh, one time I was in, uh, where was I at? Oh, we was out in Venice. Out in Venice, this was uh, years ago, and uh, they had a boat sank, and uh, started helping this guy out. And uh, we was on our boat, we helped him out. His boat sank, and we got it, got his boat up, pumped the water out of it, and helped him get his engines running. And uh, he was from Bayou La Bachelor. Janice said, "Not your Janice, another Janice. Use an eye drop dropper and put milk in your eye. It will help." Put milk in my eye. I'll try anything. I'm thinking to go take me a shower. I'll wash my eye out. I'll get Miss Janet and hit it with the press wash or something. That's about driving me crazy. You must have to charge Forest your phone a lot. Do <laughs> you know what? You must have to phone, charge your phone a lot. Yeah, actually, I got my phone hooked up on a... Uh, let me show y'all what I got here. Y'all see that? It's a big battery deal. Okay, I got my phone card. And that's what allows me to run so long. Yeah. Works. Chelsea said, "All the money you make from being on the show, do you know? Uh -huh. Do you donate it to charities?" Yeah, I donate it to the light company every month. And my answer: <clears throat> Well, we're supposed to make a lot of money from out on the show. <laughs> People, got, I've heard of rich and famous, y'all. We ain't got the rich part yet. We might be famous. Everybody knows us, but we ain't rich. That's for sure. Uh uh. Y'all only knew. The wind blew something on the face that killed the ten year old little boy. Oh, that's something. See, I think I heard that on the news. One one <laughs> said a little boy got killed, something blew on him or something. That's the same. Gene said you might have a scratch in your eye, which I've been telling you for Yeah, I probably got a scratch in my eye or something. I ain't got my I took my contact out and <laughs> Chip said, bust him another eye. <laughs> 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 Don't tempt me, Chip. Yeah, she'll do it, y'all. 
Y'all, we're going to get off here. I'm going uh, to go wash my eye out. Answer this. Ray Ray says, does the revenue from the show afford you much? No. 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 Not too much. No. It ain't what y'all think. That's for sure. It ain't near Somebody what you Somebody said think. it was a tree that I guess hit the little boy. A tree fell on a little boy? Mm. What you got? Driftwood hit him. Driftwood? Driftwood. How in the world driftwood hits you? Teresa said, but you are rich. Look around you. Oh, yeah. We're rich in that way. We we got our kids, grandkids Walked, all around. We washed up by the storm surge. What did it? What happened? Where'd you get the flag bandana? Flag bandana. I, uh, the first one I ever got. Let me tell y'all this story. Here we go again. I'm fixing to get off of you. It ain't going to be that long story. <laughs> the first one of these bandanas I got was years and years ago. We were, uh, where were, what? What's so funny, Dan? Hey, Armand said, hit you in the head with a frying pan and you will forget about your eye. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think I like that. She likes you, Armand. <laughs> <laughs> Amanda, I'm going to call you Amanda back again. You <laughs> 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 kind of said it want to hit me Sarah with a frying said, pan. you rich with me. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> but years ago, I was in, uh, going to, uh, where did we go get fish at? Henderson. 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 I was at Gentry's Fish Farm over there. And uh, anyway, got back one day, and, and the man in our slaughterhouse, not a slaughterhouse, our egg room, come there, and they had an inspector. And he was telling me about hats, you know, with the with the bib on it, you know, like the regular old, old hat. He said, them your hat carries more germs than anything. He said, because most people grab their bib, they scratch yourself, they touch this, touch this, they grab the bit of the hat. And we was trying to keep germs out of our uh, egg rooms and stuff. And so anyway, I was down there in, in Henderson at Gitry's fish market getting fish for the, to feed the alligators and turtles. And they got this little store down the road there. And I seen these bandanas there. I said, I'm going to get one of them. That'd be good for the slaughterhouse and I won't be touching them. My hat brim and getting it getting it all nasty. Well, I got that thing. A couple of days later, went down the river, and I noticed I didn't have the bib on. My hat didn't blow off. I never had to go back and get it. And that's how come I started wearing bandanas. And I bought, don't give you a headache. And, and, they, and they don't give me a headache. The, the regular hats give me a headache. And I've been wearing these for years. And the first one I ever got was a red, white, and blue one like this. And I, I just, I'd always, I buy, I'd go down that little store every year. When I go get fish and hey, tell them to like and share your page because evidently they don't read your page. They don't know you do charity and stuff. Oh, Jen, Jen said y'all don't y'all don't read so my. Remind them. She said for y'all like like my page and make sure you share it because she, she said y'all y'all don't realize how many charities we do. We do a lot a lot of charity stuff. I'm talking about a lot, and uh, you know that's one good thing the show has put me in in in, in you know uh, where a lot of people know me. And I can go help people, and we do. We do it a lot. Jen said, "We if we made more money, we could do more charity, which we do. We do a lot of charity, but I wish I wish we had money to uh, just charity to do nothing but charity. Nothing. We do a lot of stuff with St. Jude, uh, different, just different, all kinds of stuff, all kinds of stuff. Uh, Y'all see the wounded warriors on my on my pages and different stuff like that." Fort Polk, which we need to go back. We need uh, we need to go to Fort Polk a couple times a year. We haven't been in in a little while. We need to get back over there. I go to uh, a lot of the hospitals and stuff, uh, children's hospitals and stuff like that. I do a lot of stuff like that. I need to quit rubbing my eye. I got something yep. in it. I got something else in it. Yep. Quit rubbing it. I said, quit rubbing it. Might get me a glass eye for it. Hey, over. it's nice out here. We shut up in that old pot. Miss Jen said we shut up in here and the sun didn't come out. Yo, we gotta get out of here. Hey, on, y'all. Hold on, we're going outside. Oh, yeah, it's got sunshine. Yes, yeah, Sunday. What's that stuff shining in my eye? Hey. Oh, that's my ultra match. I'm gonna put that back inside. Whoo, y'all. It's good to be out here, y'all. But it's still raining. Still raining. 
I got a hair or something getting in my eye. Oh my. This gentleman says, oh my, oh my. <laughs> Baby, you ain't got much said, just chunk it. What? Feed that to the birds. I am. Uh-oh, cut my grill off. I got still got a grill That's on. Oh, the water's burnt. All of them are on, huh? Yeah, this one. This one? Cut the whole main gas yeah, off. The Cole Murphy, what's up? Still raining? No, y'all look, look, it quit in the sun. Kind of popped out. Y'all see that? Look at my yard. I gotta go feed my fish. Ain't crazy cats. Now the rain kind of quit. Travis said, what's up? Travis Cody. Did you ever get a new taller? No, I never did get a new taller. Y'all cats better behave now. I'm gonna have to do something. Cats about driving me crazy around here, y'all. Donna Monachek, what's up? What did Donna say? Get Miss Janet blowing my eye. What's up, Mike? Mike Midsley. Mike Midsley. Mike said he tried to tell you that the griddle on you didn't see it. Hi, <laughs> you tried to tell me that yeah. too. Uh, well, we got it now, Mike. And thank you for the uh, for the for the uh, for the flippers. Uh, hang on, I gotta go get them. Look at. Y'all, Miss Jen says she loves the uh, Mike Midley. She said she loves the the new uh, spatulas you got for us. And the bottles. And the little bottles. She said we could chunk these things. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they gone. <laughs> oh, Bruce. But uh, thank you, Mike. Appreciate it. Uh, and she likes the little bottle, the little squirt bottle. We got a uh, coon out here. We just brought a brand new bottle of olive oil out here the other day. And uh, anyway, I got looking for it a while ago and it was gone. Well, last week we brought a brand new bottle out and I set it down here, used it one time and it was gone. Well, I thought Janet brought it back inside. So I asked where she put it. She said she didn't get it. It's fixing the rain again. Look, there's my pot I'm missing inside. No, it got wax on it. Leave it there. But anyway, I got wax on it too, leave it there. I got a bowl of water to get it out. She's always through with my stuff, y'all. That's my thing. Yes, ma'am. Anyway, Mike, we got the bottle, squeeze bottle, and uh, we put the oil in that. Worked out good. But so we got a coon out here. And I, I don't seen him a couple times, but he's been getting my, uh, he's been taking the, uh, the olive oil. So, I got my, my buddy brought my live trap back. So, I'm, I'm going to uh, try to set it and catch a, probably catch a cat. Won't catch no coon for a while. Two armadillos here last night. Armadillos ain't that bad. I can catch an armadillo. I catch them out here and I, I run up behind them and you grab them by the tail and pick them up. Then I put them in a trash can or something and I haul them away from here. But these coons, they, they all over the place. This thing drive me nuts. Yeah, he got to have something shiny. Well, that's what he did. But he took the whole bottle of cooking oil uh, of the uh, olive oil, and it was gone. I thought Miss Janet took it, brought it back inside. So I went in there looking for it, couldn't find it. And I asked her. She said no, she didn't get it. So I got me another bottle, another bottle. A couple days later, it was gone. So I don't know where, where, you know, but we got another bottle out here, but we bring it in inside tonight. We're going to bring it inside. Yep. Yeah, Armand, Richard uh, Scarborough said, Armand does a putty when you chase them. Yep. The little bus gunner, what's up? Yeah, I'm fixing to go, y'all. Let me get out of here so I can go clean this mess up a little bit, and then, uh, I'm going to go inside and run the cold shower on my eye. See if that helps me a little bit. All right. Bye-bye. Talk to y'all later. Tell them bye, babe. Bye. She says bye.